January 28th, 2017, Joy Fluker leads Alachua County Sheriff's detectives through what was once McAnopey's house of prayer. Approximately three decades have passed since she was last here. She has just rediscovered the closet where, as a child, she found the infant body of her murdered adopted brother, Moses. Joy, do you believe this is where he was murdered? extremist religious cult where she tortured by starvation and beatings innocent young little children to death. We became involved in December of 2016 when Joy Fluker called us and told us that she believed her mother had murdered her stepbrother. When I first heard what the allegations were, I thought, uh, I didn't really want to initiate this investigation until I actually interviewed this witness in person because the allegations she was making were so horrific and it involved the torture and murder of multiple children. What Joy Fluker saw either in the late 80s or early 90s is she went into her mother's room and found our victim who we only knew as Moses at that point deceased inside of a laundry basket. But I just felt in my spirit that he had died when I saw him when I saw him in the class, I've had nightmares about that all my adult life. When it was determined that Moses was deceased, our witnesses have told us that Anna Young ordered that his remains be burnt in a burn barrel on the House of Prayer property. John Neal is a House of Prayer survivor. Anna Young murdered his sister Catania in 1983. She killed my little sister, and that was an evil woman, man. You're not even gonna believe some of the stuff I'm telling you. You know, Anna loved to abuse little kids. She was pure evil. Anna Young determined that three-year-old Catania had a demon in her, and she was committed to beat the demon out of her. She tortured her by beating her and starving her and withholding anti-seizure medications. And next thing I knew, I was at a funeral, mm. and I know Anna beat, I remember out there in Waldo, her like holding Kay upside down by her foot, and just like just going rapid succession on her foot with a, I don't know, a stick or a spoon. But I, she would beat her on her feet a lot, I guess, because she didn't want to, to bruise her up. Mm. And Kay would just cry. Why, and, did, uh, why did she beat her so much? Because she said she had a demon in her. Wow. She had a demon. In my 40 years of being a detective, I have never dealt with a case as horrific. It was absolutely incredible from beginning to the end that this woman intentionally tortured and starved and beat helpless, defenseless children. On February 17th, 2021, Anna Young appeared in court in Alachua County to answer for her crimes. If this case were to proceed to trial, the state would be prepared to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that between the time period of March 8, 1988 through December 31st, 1989, Anna Elizabeth Young did unlawfully kill Iman Harper, aka Moses. If this case were to proceed to trial, the state would be prepared to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that on or about November 24th, 1983, Anna Elizabeth Young did cause the death of Catania Jackson. The court sentences you in the 2017 case to 30 years in the Department of Correction and in the 2021 case to 15 years. Uh, those sentences will run concurrent. I would like to thank the court, the state attorney's office, the Lachua County Sheriff's Office, Detective Octavio Aguero, and a special and heartfelt thanks to Detective Kevin Allen, who pursued justice in this case as if Catania were part of his own family. And indeed to me, he is family forever.